In this video, I have an awesome machine to show you. Stay tuned to see its cool features. It is called iMate S by Kitty Tech. As you can see, its box is very big. Let's open it to see what kind of parts we get with this printer. This is instructions book of iMate S by Kitty Tech. In this book, you can find several steps to successfully use this printer. In this package, we get extra metallic flexible bed, which is very very nice. This is the printer itself. Let me get it out of the box. In the very low, we get some acrylic windows for left and right side of the printer. So the box is empty now. Let's move on to the printer. Inside the printer, we get some parts fixed to the foam, starting from the filament spool of PLA+. This cable is for powering the printer up. A nice tiny screwdriver. Small package with some necessary tools. A thin material that is made intentionally for bad leveling. This is for holding the filament spools. A glue stick to stick the objects better to the bed. They include a memory stick with 16 GB of storage. As always, you can find a scrapper here. And finally, one mysterious box with extra high precision nozzle with the size of 0.2 mm.
you can print ABS very well with this printer by closing everywhere to hold the temperature high. You can find a nice touch screen to control the printer here. Let's see what features we get from it. Now it's time to print test. For initial print, I want to start with G code they included in memory stick and use their PLA filament. Their G-code worked well. Now I will print some objects from Thingiverse.
By the way, this printer has a premium feature, that is Wi-Fi printing. You can print your objects through a Wi-Fi, so you don't have to use your memory stick. Let me use this now. After connecting your printer to Wi-Fi and getting an IP address, you have to open slicer of KiddyTag and enter the IP address shown in your printer. Then slice it and send it, that's all. After printer started the process, I had an electricity cutoff. And it's convenient time to test the power loss resume feature of the printer. And it successfully resumed the process, that's great. I want to do the last print with 0.2 mm nozzle. Let's change the extruder. They made process of changing extruder very easy. It didn't take so long. We have finished the print tests. Let's check the results. This test group must have 2 cm long from all sides. Let's measure it. That's the object that we printed over Wi-Fi and lost electricity while printing. But as printer successfully resumed the print process, it is very hard to find the layer skips. This object was printed with 0.2 mm nozzle. You can see the improvements by yourself. Finally, our brief review of Kitty Tech I made as is over. Final conclusion is, to be honest, this was the easiest printer that I have ever had in my life. Because I just unboxed it and used it successfully. No complex setups required. We can say this printer is professional desktop budget printer to get very high quality prints. 
I will give links in video description to buy this printer. Thank you for your time.